as you guys can tell, I'm in much better moods now. Um, uh, my next doctor's appointment is next week. And the nausea and morning sickness looks like it's starting to subside. The only problem is, is that I'm able to eat a more variety of food, but for some reason, I just don't want meat. I don't want chicken, I don't want pork, I don't want um, steak, which I used to love. Um, even salmon, I'm kind of, uh, about. So, I was telling Ron how the baby's probably more Mexican than anything because I've been, like, really craving Mexican food. Um, and by Mexican food, I mean my mama's food. Like, really spicy chili. I've been wanting, like, a lot of, um, beans with tortillas. Um, and I haven't eaten tortillas in a long, long, long time. Yeah, I have a cat. Well, two cats. Um, in a long time. And before gastric bypass, I didn't carry a seat, like, four or five tortillas in one sitting. But then I started realizing that each tortilla is, like, 160 calories. I'm like, shit, I never realized it before. So now, um, I'll eat maybe one tortilla, maybe half of a tortilla, like I'm talking about the flour tortillas, with beans, and then the only thing that's been sitting well is beans. Um, so I've done like refried beans, I've done like regular just um, boiled beans. Um, I've had egg in them, I've had potatoes in them, I've had, yesterday I was, Ron's mom made like fried chicken. Ron's family is Filipino, so um, it's a lot of fried everything. Fried fish, fried chicken, fried pork, like just a lot of fried everything. Um, and I was able to eat one wing before my, and I was telling Ron, like, my stomach is kind of confused. It, it, it wants the meat, I guess, the taste of the crunch. But then when I taste the white part of the chicken, it's like, like, so I ate one and then after the one I was like, uh, if I eat another one, I might get sick. So I ate that and like a little bit of potatoes. That's another thing that I haven't ate in a long time is homemade french fries, which right now I'm totally loving. I'll eat one or two potatoes um, and I know it's bad, but I'll eat them fried and I'm freaking satisfied which is so sad I'm just everything I never realized how hard it is to make yourself eat when you don't want to eat and when you feel sick and nauseous I mean it's nothing compared to when I had gastric bypass because when I had gastric bypass the, the beginning six months I wasn't hungry I didn't feel hungry but I didn't feel sick so making myself eat wasn't a problem because I didn't have any um, nausea or anything like I actually um, felt nothing I, I just didn't feel hungry so I whatever I ate I was fine with but now it's like the smell the taste is just ill so I can't force myself to eat it because I just feel so sick to my stomach and I'll probably throw up so that's that it's just a whole new ball game for me and I'm not that stressed out with gaining weight as much as I think I thought I was gonna be I am worried here and there I did weigh myself today and so far I've only gained one pound so I am at 154 so far I am about eight weeks a couple days and I've only gained back one pound so, um, by the time my wedding comes around, I will be four months pregnant. I don't know if my dress is going to fit. I don't know if I'm going to have to get it altered or not. Um, I think I will be fine, but just in case, I'm going to go take my dress to the seam seamstress probably sometime in July to have it hemmed and to have it bustled and then consult with trying to get you know see if I need to get it you know loosened up a little as 
as I was saying, um, I'm going to see if I need to get it altered, maybe taken out a little bit or loosened up, but I doubt it. It's a corset back, so it's going to give me some wiggle room. I just can't gain like 10 pounds, you know? Um, I'm still gassing. I don't know if it's just me or what it is, but my hair feels a lot thicker. I don't know if it's because I'm using this shampoo that's supposed to be for thicker, shinier hair. Um, but I always buy all kinds of shampoos and no, nothing ever gives me results. I don't know if it's because, it's probably because of the pregnancy. Um, but I'm not losing as much hair and um, it just feels thicker and fuller. Like you guys have seen my past videos just look at my hair it just it looks a lot fuller to me maybe I'm tripping out I don't know but yeah I'm starting to feel a lot better about this pregnancy just because I feel like I'm eating a lot more and although I could be making better choices hopefully once my aversion to certain foods, aka freaking meat, goes away and I'm hoping um, and I'm able to actually tolerate my shots, my protein shots, I can go back to my old eating routine, probably add an extra two meals and stretch it out to six small meals instead of the three that I was doing. So right now what I'm doing is I eat breakfast, I have as much water as I can, which I still don't think I'm getting enough. Um, and then I'll have in between, I'll have a banana or I'll have uh, any type of fruit. I'll have crackers with peanut butter on them, maybe like two or three crackers just to satisfy my hunger. And then for lunch I will have either a Subway soup, which is like 280 calories. Or I will have two, well I haven't had any meat so honestly I'll bring something from home which is usually right now is beans and cheese and, a, and one tortilla. Um, I mixed some egg in with the beans the other day and that worked out pretty well so that's like double protein, yay! Um, what else? That's basically what I've been eating and it's sad because it's just the same thing over and over but that's the only thing that I've found that has kept me feeling okay and not like shitty um i feel bad like i said that i haven't been drinking as much water as i could be it's just for some reason i'm back to every time that i swallow i burp it it was like that the first couple of months of my gastric bypass but then it went away and now it's doing it again i don't know why <sighs> but yeah I just wanted to give you guys um, an update on how I'm feeling and how I'm eating. Um, I don't know, like it's kind of it's gonna be kind of hard to like separate my pregnancy from my gastric bypass because I guess it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I guess my <laughs> my my vlogs are gonna be about being pregnant during gastric bypass and some of the fears that I have. Um, some of the complications hopefully not that I might or might not go through um, and hopefully this helps somebody out um, no this is what's not planned and it obviously you guys can tell it was not planned and it just happened but you know what like I said in my last video it's pretty amazing because I swear to you I had no idea that this is the life well that this is where life was gonna take me if uh, you knew me on a personal level or you follow me on Facebook and stuff you would under, like you would have understood like why I got so surprised and personally like even this wedding coming up so soon I'm like wow I'm I'm seriously getting married to one of the best people I've met in my life so I feel pretty lucky and pretty blessed with everything that's going on right now even though I might not express it so much in my videos I I'm feeling very thankful for everything that I have and the people that I have in my life. So, I will try to keep you guys updated as much as I can. And from here on out, keep it pretty positive, except for all those days where I'm feeling like shit. 
and hopefully those those will be few but thank you guys for watching